everybody welcome to this video where i will solve more questions in codewars.com this is learner education i'm tanseer sadi and i'm playing codewars question solving game in so let's begin in this question uh what we have to do is we have to convert a given number into uh, roman numerals like one is i and four is iv the first thing you have to do is make a dictionary of these Roman numerals. Uh, let me just name that. You have to make a dictionary. Okay. So let me just do that and I'll cut to the part where I'll do actual coding. Alright, so next we will make a uh, Make a result variable uh, number n and Roman r. So in Python, there is a function called give mode, which gives the quotient and remainder of two numbers. And those two numbers are number, okay, there's a problem. Num, let me just number the actual input number and this num from this dictionary from this dictionary and we have to assign that it gives two numbers this will be the quotient and other thing so there's a there's the quotient and then there's the remainder and we will assign the remain replace actual input with the remainder then what we'll do is for we we'll append is uh, append Roman numeral R times the uh, number of times quotient times the number of quotient because I think this will work and after this loop we will just return to result then we will just run the sample test and see if this run or is there any error or something? Okay, 11 test is test passed. That's cool. Let me just attend the entire sample space. Alright, cool. This person created different arrays for numbers and Roman numerals and then zip, zip them together. The rest is my logic. Which is cool. Uh, this is also amazing. Like we create a dictionary and sort that dictionary in reverse order. Actually, it does not. This, uh, this dictionary is already sorted, so there is no need for this additional thing. Anyway, that's it. Oh, wait. What this guy done is separated. This has separated units, tens, hundreds, and thousands, and this directly appended all these things. This double slash is for integer division. For example, if you do 4 divided by 3, 1.33. So, this 1.33 is a float, float number. But if you do double slash, then the result will be 1, the integer part of this float. That's that. Uh, all these questions you can just see. I guess that's it for today. I'll, I'll solve another question in the next video, probably. So, subscribe, like, share, comment.